So now the mission. Then we can always come back and do some of these other missions later on. I'm sure there's some more cool stuff to unlock at like 30 and 35 objectives done and all that. I don't remember what any of them are, but I'm sure they exist. Get the alert to green before you start this mission. Ugh. There. <sighs> the EDF are pulling out of Oasis. To cover their withdrawal, they're sending in the tanks. Armored units are now converging on your position, and they'll destroy anything in their path. Do whatever it takes to stop them, Mason. The people and facilities here are critical to our effort. If we lose Oasis, we lose the war. I'm in position. Where the hell are those tanks? We've sighted an armored unit moving in from the south. Intercept and destroy it. Intercepting and destroying. There's a lot of activity happening up there, though. Oh, he's like right there, actually. Hello? Tank? Yeah, it sort of does a uh, lock-on type deal. From the north. Meh. Oh, he's not dead, damn it. Oh. Well, oh, they actually cleared out a lot of VDF. Good fighting, guys. Two tanks. Proceed with caution. Anybody got a fancy weapon I can have? Not really. Oh, hi. You're back. So fast, there's scrap everywhere you need to collect, Mason. I'm on it. He said I need to move fast, but do I really? Because, like, there's a lot of vehicles here, and these all drop scrap. the other one I guess but we got a nice killing spree going on though I don't know what all that does really we'd like to get it to 50 that seems like an okay mark if anything were to unlock I think 50 would be a good time for it I got a power to the people achievement. I don't know if that's just morale or what. Yeah, you get you get a bunch of morale for doing mayhem and all that. That's nice. Hoping for a cool unlock though. Goodbye, scrap.
Ugh. I was just about to get more scrap. <laughs> and then an additional 200 salvage at the end. Awesome. The jetpack, I remember you. Mm. Okay. Well, on the plus side, I can still run around and collect a bunch of scrap, so that's cool. Oh. You know what? I'll just do this on foot. It's honestly so much faster. Do you give scrap when I blow you up? Rip walker? No. Okay. Oh, you know what? I guess you can't do the objectives after you liberate, which makes a lot of sense, actually, because there would be nothing to assault anymore because EDF lost control. But I want to say when you beat the game, you can do them still, right? I don't remember. Huh. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that I didn't unlock, which is kind of okay, I guess. I mean... Or incentive for you to play it, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe do what I didn't do. Whoops. I thought I remember being able to do all that stuff later on. Like, you, you, you never actually lose the opportunity. Maybe you have to beat it first. Uh, I'm not sure. Not a whole lot of scrap to pick up. A lot of it uh, despawned, or maybe I already got most of it in the walker. I don't, I don't know. We will... Get in the car before the drones come. The drones ain't coming, man. It's liberated. There ain't shit. And actually, I want your cart. We'll head to, uh... To do that objective, I suppose. We'll leave from, I guess, Parker. Damn, I feel kind of bad that I missed out on so many... Objectives, because there was a few raids there that I missed. Damn. And did you spawn in my vehicle somewhere? No, you didn't. Damn, I was hoping it would. Oh well, this is okay. We can't kid ourselves. I will bring the nano rifle for this mission. Instead of the rockets. Keep the machine gun. Check upgrades. Those gunships were critical. Now we can focus on the artillery. Right. Jetpack is 650. Okay. Okay. Can build a better Mars. I know it. So, ah, there it is. You did park it for me. Oh, that's a weird spot for it, but okay, cool. Yes. I don't think this is the super fast one. They do have a vehicle that's like this, and it's, uh, it's really quick. This is pretty okay, though. Welcome to D-Day, Mason. Parker, Dust, and Oasis are now free of EDF control. These guns are all that stand between us and EOS. Colonel Broga's data has exposed gaps in their artillery coverage. We've plotted multiple lines of attack to exploit them. Here's your path, Mason. Follow these waypoints and don't wander off. The odds are against us, and a lot of people won't be coming back. But if we can't silence those guns, the fight for Mars is over. 
I like how the entire concept was that I do this because I can drive fast, so I can drive from dead zone to dead zone before the artillery can get a lock on, which is just insane to think about. But instead of actually going through with that, we're just going to throw a bunch of people at it and hopefully they can't kill us all. That's basically the concept. <laughs> Position. You need to rendezvous with that group ahead of you. We've got to make it through that zone. It's our only chance. I don't know if this is the right vehicle to bring. You gave me that, but we'll see how much I regret this. <laughs> this just drives so much better. It sticks to the ground. It's it's great. Hi, group. Let's go. Although I don't remember if there actually was. Wow, well done everybody. <laughs> you know, this reminded me of Doom 3, which reminds me, the Commander dude. That's who he reminds me of. He reminds me of the Commander guy from Doom 3. For the longest time, his voice kind of seemed familiar. I don't think it's the same guy. It could be, though. I can't go on. I can't go on. This just reminds me of Doom 3 and everything starts going wrong and everybody's just shouting over the radio all the time. It's just like, God, just stop. <laughs> like, some people turn their radio on just to scream. It's like, yeah, okay, thanks for that. Asshole. This is so much better with this vehicle. I yeah, fuck driving those. Beep beep. Out of the way, guys. Whoops. Um. <laughs> Vehicle doesn't have that much health, but okay. Uh. Woofed. Hi, what was that? Need some cover for a minute. Oh, shit, hi. So many guys. Really? That didn't do it? There. I'll take that. What do you mean this isn't the right way? Just, if nothing else, clog them all up. Ugh. And zap. Oh, that does blow up. Did the other one didn't blow up, did it? Did the other one blow up? I figured because the first one didn't blow up, I'll just shoot this one now while I'm here and uh, <laughs> hang out. It makes sense they blow up. Alright. 
Shit. At least it auto saved me here. Expensive power core. I feel a little bad for that. That, that was a lot of money. <laughs> oh, come on, Mason. Jump. Mm. Oh, God, those guns. Shut up. This is mine now. Wrong building. This genuinely is the wrong way, but uh, maybe we can reverse out. Oh my god, this thing has so much torque, it's insane. just keeps going. Get back here before we jump out. Good. Uh. much time here. There's so many dudes around. Move. Move. Well, this is a safe building. Totally. destroy this building while I'm here. Tja. Of course that wouldn't work. Gunman Summit. That's my cover. Hey. And swap gun. Awesome. Why don't you blow up? What the fuck? There we go. That's the last core. The gun has been silenced, Mason. It's over. 
No. This is just the beginning. Ugh, so right. deep. Eos won't even know what hit him. <sighs> Way too many fucking enemies. <laughs> Thermal Barrack Rocket. Mm. I grabbed a lot of the scrap that was around. I think for now that's okay. I can always come back to this area and clear out some of these buildings. Just, it's UDF artillery base. Can't really miss it. But we will continue on into this final zone. Get her to a safe house. I could just fast travel there, but let's drive. Because all these EDF buildings, like the walls and everything, they'll have scrap in them. The containers, the explosive, there's a lot of salvage around here to get still. So I'll have to come back for that. I'll probably do it off camera at some point if I really need the salvage. some mineral notes to get around to. Mm. And then the free fire zone itself, I think I remember seeing some uh, minerals during all that too. <laughs> it's all over Mason, but I'm one of you. How do you know it's me? <laughs> Literally. And we're here. That was actually a really boring drive. Um. Oh. Probably die if I keep that up. Yeah, I thought there'd be like buildings or something to see along the way, but it was mostly just the the turny sort of mountain bit. But do we have? Uh, we would have an overview if the weather wasn't so shit. Great, awesome. <laughs> so jetpack, yes please. The landing can be a little rough, but she'll do the job. And quicker recharge for 450. Thermobaric rocket costing a mere 1,250. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. You just basically double jump. And you can see how much is left on the back. There's that gauge that's rising currently. Oh, yeah. So let's drive around town a bit, see what there is to do. There's a couple missions. We're basically just behind our uh, little outpost up there on the mountain. Couple missions here. That's riding with Jenkins, time trial, a uh, heavy metal tank thing, I think. Well, I guess we ride shotgun with Jenkins. Mason, you there? Come ride shotgun for me. Check your map. Why not? Jenkins, I'm at the rendezvous point. Yeah, hold on. Ice cream? Oh, fuck yeah. I love ice cream. Let's go. And gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Checking out bridges is a fucking awful idea, and I'll regret it in a few minutes. But uh, well, <laughs> oh, it's just too beautiful for words. You want to know why 
they're doing what they're doing so they can screw it all up one more time. They want to dig another hole straight to hell, but I am not going to let them. You sure thing, Jenkins, whatever you say, man. Those are expensive screens. Oops. Sorry. I love that sound. All right, I have a machine gun. Hi. Sorry. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> Don't penalize me for that. Go back to Earth. Mars, Mars, Mars. We're going back to how it was before. I'm teaching myself to breathe carbon dioxide. It's the only way to merge with the consciousness of Mars. I need to get a couple. <sighs> Damn it. Fucking really? Alright, machine gun took it out at least. Boy, we barely got... Barely got this one. Damn. That's a healthy bridge. So it looks like most of the buildings here in EOS are, um, they're like really big sprawling citizen buildings it looks like. I don't think that there'll be a whole lot of salvage here. Look, look at this thing. They don't seem too bad to destroy, they're a bit fragile, but I don't know if they'll have any, uh... I don't know if they'll have much salvage for me. Oh, bullshit. Man, these guys are so hard to hit with these. Look at that. It just goes right by them. All the time. It's right by him. Yo, are we going home yet or? Damn. How, how far away is this ice cream? can't actually look up enough to get this guy, so, uh... If you're waiting for me, I don't know what to tell you. Oh my god. Somehow I got him. Hi. Hi, this isn't our outpost or anything. <laughs> Ignore us. <clears throat> <laughs> Ooh, all this shooting gives me an appetite. Damn it, come here. I want you to engage me while I'm here in my outpost thing. Come on, you wimp. Ugh. Oh my god, the sun. Jeez. Why has it gotta be so bright, huh? <laughs> 